Good morning everyone, or good evening, or good night, or whatever time you're watching this video. Fat loss, weight loss, building muscle, getting a booty, getting a flat stomach. We're all around that topic 24-7, 365 days a year. I love talking about it because I have always gained weight and lost weight in different ways and I'm always trying new things so I always got the best advice here, okay? So in this video, I'm gonna share with you guys some scientifically proven ways and things that have worked for me how and how you can lose weight and lose fat and build muscles for whatever you wanna build, for example, your booty and stuff like that. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Hold on, before getting into the video, I wanna share two apps that actually helped me and I'm pretty sure it'll help you too. Now, the first app is called Femometer, intermittent fasting app, and the second app is called FaceJoy. Now, Femometer is an intermittent fasting app. It is great for women who want to lose weight or maintain their weight. Fasting app customizes personalized plans and provides with weight loss guidance based on the information that you provide them with. Now, it is super normal to feel confused and lost throughout your weight loss journey and that is why we need apps like this that will help us stay focused and keep us motivated and helps us throughout our journey. It also has a bunch of unique content for women like customized video courses and articles that help women understand everything much better. Now these are the kind of things that really keep me going and motivated and these are the kind of things that really did help me throughout my weight loss journey. Now FaceJoy on the other hand is an app that helps you lose face fat. Now this is one of the best apps I've ever come across in 2023 because that is all that we're looking for in 2023, how to lose face fat. So this app is basically a face yoga app. Now this app basically helps us improve our facial conditions through massages, gua sha, and other natural methods. Now they also provide customized face yoga training courses. Now with this app, you can take pictures, record your training log, generate progress videos to help you see results. Like, you know, to see how your face is changing and etc. Now this app contains the most effective and the most popular 117 physical movements on the internet. It covers the seven main facial areas, including the forehead, the eyes, the chin, the cheeks, the neck, and etc. Basically all of the problem areas. Now with effective video courses, interesting training records, professional statistics, and visualization of improvement, this app really encourages its users to form a natural and healthy facial care routine. Because losing face fat was very difficult for me, and I had to do my own research, but with an app like this, it just makes your life 10 times easier. I will link both of these apps in the description box below. Make sure you download them and enjoy because these apps are freaking great. So go ahead. Okay, now that I'm done with that, let's get into the video. Number one, eating well. Now, starving yourself is not the best way. It's unhealthy and it just does not work. Starving yourself will only make you lose your muscles. It'll give you a screwed up metabolism and a malnourished appearance. You don't want that. Eating right and learning how to eat in the right portions will really help you long term. And it will also help you achieve your goals. Because by eating, you will be providing your body with everything it needs to burn the fat that you're struggling so hard to burn. But when you don't eat, that doesn't happen. So that is why you do need to eat. Now, I know a lot of people think not eating will help them get skinnier, get abs and stuff like that. Absolutely not. It really destroys your body. Whatever your body's trying to do, keep you healthy. And then you're just destroying it by not eating because your body needs fuel and the fuel is food. So you need to eat and starving is not going to cut it. It's not gonna help. Number two, resistant training. I know cardio has been so popular for so long. Everyone is doing cardio workouts, but trust me, resistant training is way better than cardio. And here's why. Now resistance training is basically using your own body weight to burn calories, burn fat. And this kind of training is amazing because it's highly metabolic and it tortures fat. It also increases testosterone. Now higher testosterone levels are directly linked to an increase in fat burning. So that is why that's another plus point. And resistance training also helps build muscles. It strengthens the core and increases the size of abdominal muscles. So if you know, you know, if you've watched a lot of TikTok videos or you have watched fitness influencers in the right mind, people who have actually studied the subject, they will also tell you that resistant training is way better than just doing cardio. Honestly, cardio is so freaking old school. All cardio does is help you burn a little bit of fat 
and it burns calories while you're doing the workout but when you're resistant training you're burning calories even while you're sleeping because your body's still working and plus I personally find resistance training way easier than cardio and the results are much quicker faster and better with resistance training instead of cardio and there are so many videos on YouTube you can find about resistance training and what you can do and the kind of exercises that you can do because cardio is not the only thing everyone's getting smarter everyone is doing resistance training now number three eating right now you need to base your food around whole foods and avoiding any kind of processed food or manufactured food you need to be eating natural foods like nuts grass-fed beef organic chicken eggs beans and etc because these kind of foods will give your body the nutrients it requires to burn fat as well as keep you healthy now going 100% natural is very difficult so that is why doing like an 80% split is totally fine no one is 100% natural you cannot possibly stay away from from processed food or manufactured food that is impossible so that is why a lot of people start with 60% and then they go to 80% but no one's ever at 100% so you don't have to really stress about being a 100% natural eater you don't have to do that but you can be an 80% person so you can eat whole foods good food like 80% and the other 20% it's fine but the rest of the 20% I mean like sauces salad dressing and certain kinds of breads and the next thing is every meal needs to have a protein source now protein is really important when you're losing fat and let me explain why lean muscle burns fat the more muscle you have the more fat you burn and the building block of muscles is protein so that is why you need to have protein to have muscle so that that can burn fat so you need to have protein in your meals in your diet now some protein foods are lean beef chicken eggs high protein milk tofu cheese all of these are high protein foods that you can include in your diet to get that protein and you also need to be eating your greens and your fiber which is also very important this is something a lot of people tend to ignore or forget to add but this is really freaking important now the fiber that you get from your vegetables and carbs have excellent health benefits which make them essential now eating more fiber has proven to help control weight fluctuations lose weight quicker promote a healthy heart so that is why it is really really important to aim to to eat a lot of greens and fiber you need to include those three things in your meals and balanced meals also read about it online basically it is like 50% greens 30% of protein and 10 or 20% of carbs but you can look it up online or oh, here's a picture this is the picture that I follow that really helps me so yeah number four is working out in the morning now let me tell you why so when you're working out in the morning first it's very motivating you're done with it first thing in the morning but let me tell you why it's actually good now while you're working out in the morning your testosterone levels are high and you're basically priming your body to burn fat for the rest of the day and any food you eat after working out in the morning will straight go to your muscles and it will not have the opportunity to turn into fat but Here's the thing, working out in the morning as well as in a fasted state is even better. Now, a fasted state is basically on an empty stomach before you eat anything. As soon as you wake up, 15 minutes later, you work out, you don't have coffee, nothing. You just work out on an empty stomach and here are the benefits. Let me tell you why. It increases the production of human growth hormone your body will target fat cells for energy as there is no food available in your body so you're burning fat and you will not have an insulin spike and also the first few times you start working out in the morning on a fasted state you will not really feel anything but when you do it the third or the fourth day you will feel this random burst of energy and your energy levels will just increase so much that you'll be like damn and the last one is keep progress Keeping progress is really important because something that we usually do is we start working out and then we take a few pictures and then a week later we're like, oh, so nothing really happened, we didn't really change and some people just completely forget to keep track of their progress. Don't do that. Always be consistent. If you're consistent with your workouts and you're eating clean and you're eating well, take a picture every single week. Even if there's no difference, even if you're not seeing a difference, make sure you check your weight, you take measurements of your body and you take pictures so that you will be able to see progress in a month. Some people see progress in like a week. Some people see changes in two weeks, three weeks. Some people see changes only after three months. Everyone's bodies are designed differently. Everyone's body reacts differently and everyone's lifestyles are different different and that is why everyone sees different results so it's completely fine if you and your friends start a fitness journey together and she's seeing 
results quicker than you and better results do not compare yourself to her give your body some time understand that your body is different from others and your body might take a little longer and that's completely fine so those are basically my tips and I really hope that these tips will help you guys. These are things that I learned by reading a lot of information, by researching, by watching tons of YouTube videos and basically trying them out and these are things that have personally worked for me. So I hope you guys really apply these things into your life and your fitness journey. Let me know what your fitness goals are in the comment section down below. That is it for this video. I will see you guys in my next video. Let me know for now what other videos you guys would love to watch and I would love to make them. And yeah, that is it for this video now. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.